happiness and health family. Okay, so today is a day in the life of a farmer on an island, specifically Crete Island. Okay, island of Crete as the Greek will say. Anyway, so what you see right in front of you right now, come along with me as I will just take you along how December is going. Okay, this is the Vlogmas month. Okay, so here are the talkies. If you've seen my shorts, videos check on the channel then you would have seen these talkies when they were still alive okay so these are four big four so that's a huge talkie and uh, we just got them cleaned and getting them to drain and dry a bit and the next day we will be ready for you know the butcher process so watch this video through to the end so you can see all of that okay so right now i am in the grapevine okay right above my head for those of you that are not farmers and you don't have a clue you just know that you go to the supermarket purchase what you want to eat and go home okay where i was was actually a grapevine and now i'm showing you our guavas because we also have some tropical fruits here okay yes 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 <laughs> we want to be enjoying some tropical fruits also okay not only going to the supermarket and buying those imported ones the ones that the weather here is good for we grow them in our farm okay for our own consumption okay so here are our chickens and um we have enough turkey so we're not looking to kill chicken this December. Well, it, it depends, it depends if we're going to have a lot of guests. And these are you know, hares, a lot of people them as rabbits. Well, you know, hares, rabbits, whatever. Yes, we have some white brands and all of that going on. They're all looking all good, looking all healthy and still in the grapevine, still in the grapevine. So up top, right above my head, you can see the grapes. We've collected grapes for the season and it's done and dusted. That's why you don't see any grape above and the leaves are getting dry and falling up okay so yes the wine and all of that is ready so if you want to see it i can show you the drinks that were made out of those grapes on the next vlog but anyways that being said uh we're taking a walk looking around because we are getting ready to plant some papaya so we're trying to see the spots where we can plant papayas because we have recently planted mangoes um here in the same space so we still have a few space and papaya doesn't take a lot of space here are more talkies we have we actually uh, butchered uh four white four big white talkies that they bigger than the ones you see so we're leaving those ones okay we are safe for the christmas no more talkies going down all right that being said i'm coming outside to check out we also bring back woods for the winter because we use the fireplace and not the other heat and you know so we use the fireplace so checking out the woods we have uh, in front cover them properly because the weather is changing so it's going to be a lot of strong winds rain and all of so we're making sure that yes the woods are properly covered okay so right here today now the meat is ready for us to start the butcher process so yes we are at the farmhouse if i didn't say that in the beginning this is a farm from the settings you already know the grapes the oranges the everything the, you know look what's going on now you see these huge barrels is what we use for the grapes you know after harvesting the grapes they will be filled in these huge barrels hence you see a lot of barrels there for the fermentation process and getting ready for the wine making so we actually make red wine from it and we also make another drink that is called ch uh, chikulia here similar to tequila similar to it's just gin you know like Niger people kai kai you know boy <laughs> you know different country have different names for that type of drink so two types of drinks are made uh, from that and uh, what else do I want to tell you okay yes yeah, so here I'm showing you uh, still with the first one we have two hanging upstairs and we have uh, two down so we're starting with those two when we're done we go up and bring the remaining two and we continue with the butchering so while some of the family members are butchering packing the meat because they're going to be stored in the freezer we have some of the family members digging the holes to plant the papayas we have to clean this small area and we had um what's this food this food called uh passion fruit okay we had the yellow passion fruit here uh we had to take them out and plant papaya here because you know how passion grows covering the windows and you know like okay we need some sunlight inside so we had to take those out and put papaya in the place and uh, we're going to be transplanting that to a different farmland 
here are the chickens today doing good they love the weather a little bit of sun a little bit of wind and all of whatnot but they're just moving around having fun having their chicken time okay so here is our two papaya that we are getting ready to plant we're starting with two to see how favorable or how good it's going to grow how well it will survive then we know if we have to plant more papayas but we always love to start with few and then if it's going well we actually increase same with the guava we have two there and we have the rest on the uh, farm on the other farm so yes packaging of chicken going on over there and papaya the holes were dug so fast with this machine it's just so easy for you to dig a hole because it goes so quick you can actually make 100 holes in a few minutes but if you have to do it otherwise you know it's going to take more time so this was a fast dig and you know plant and it rained early this morning so the soil everything is perfect so yes you can see our aloe vera also by the side and yes aloe vera is for oil making in hair and skin you know uh so that's that for that and um, tomorrow we are going to be doing harvesting of the um what is it called avocados and um so on this video you will see us at uh the avocado farm after this because we needed to check out so we know we have different uh different races i think of um avocado so we need to know the ones that are ready for harvesting so we harvest because uh, not all we're going to be harvesting and we don't have just one type we have different types of avocado there so we went to the farm and that is what you will watch up next on this vlog let me know if you're enjoying this a day in the life of a farmer on an island if you're loving it comment down below subscribe to the channel and let me know what you want to see next so we bring you that okay so right now i am at the gate of the farm i said the gate yes it's fenced around closed because yes uh stray dogs are so much on this island and most times they go ahead and it cause a lot of harm okay you spend a lot of money purchasing uh, you know your animals and all of that and they just go in the stray dogs and they kill and they don't even kill to eat so you have to protect so here i'm showing you the avocados that are ready for harvesting and i'm just going to walk around the farm showing you some of the avocados that's what i'm doing right now squatting down and talking to you people and uh, letting you know here we have the dogs now don't worry these ones are not for consumption <laughs> these are his pets you saw him holding one of those yes he has um uh, i think four peacocks in the farm a lot of dogs and what you saw that one that looks like swan or what they call it and just all the animals he has here are like his pet we have one turkey here and few chickens he always comes here plays with them uh, whenever he comes to check on the farm so don't worry those are pet pet animals there <laughs> and they help to keep the grass in the farm low so we don't always have to come in to clean the grasses that's one good thing about this type of uh, animals they just eat the grasses and uh, it helps you also but yes uh the walking around the farm continues with uh, there i'm showing you the peacocks all right so walking around the farm continues and i'm showing you the uh, avocados you can see the avocados maybe people that are used to it will be able to recognize and see that there are different uh, types of avocados here so we're just going to go around the farm and we're going to see what we're caught out with so we know or we can guess how many boxes are going to come out now as you can see these are kind of young uh, avocados we're hoping that in let's say two years time we'll be able to even harvest more than what we got because I, I remember last year what we got was not as much as what we have this year and uh, when we do the harvesting I guess I'm going to just docu document that and uh, two in two years time I'll be able to document again God willing uh, we pray for good health long life and prosperity uh, God willing I'll be able to document two years from now to let you know and show you guys how the farm is going on this farm we don't only have av avocado those we also have um, uh, mangoes here and same same thing you know last year what we harvested from the mangoes in this year it's quite different and we have more we had more mango trees uh, bringing fruits this year so I can tell you that uh, the farm is going well 
uh that being said that's just what i want to say and i guess i'm just going to maybe stop talking and just allow you to watch the video and enjoy the video but hopefully i'm able to film that process of harvesting uh because today's friday saturday i hope this video will be up today so the other because i don't want the vlogs to be too long i want people to be able to catch up watch all through to the end uh, or watch a reasonable amount so uh the harvesting is happening on saturday so that will be on a different vlog but so far so good this is what is going on in the month of december you have to put things in place okay put things in place before the celebration starts for those people that celebrate christmas before the celebration starts and you're able to just sit back back relax by your fireside and just eat grill whatnot here i'm showing you the bananas we planted these bananas too not too long ago and these are their first fruit i wanted to show you guys yes yeah, so two uh it was actually just two bananas but now they both have babies so they're about four right now yeah and the two the two we planted uh now bringing their first fruit let's see how it's going to uh survive some of these tropical fruits it's very difficult but so far looking at it the banana looks good um i'm looking i mean the, the banana the tree looks healthy but let's see how big the fruit is going to get here i'm showing you our cross breeding uh orange tree we had the regular orange there we had to cut it down and then put a blood orange so you can see it's doing very well if you don't even know, you don't even know that the crossbreeding stuff is going on there so now we're going to be having blood orange uh, on this tree right now you can see two right there uh, but they're not ready to go a lot of people love that blood orange let me know in the comment section do you like blood orange or you don't I love mix mixing the regular orange and the blood orange in my juice and um, it just gives this nice sour taste when you don't want to drink all sweet sweet stuff thank you so very much for watching and